Bambas. Every time. Every time. Right. right. I mean, if I can take a walk with you out here, I mean, there's, there's tremendous, tremendous. And it's large, very large. Yes, yes, I mean, I've stepped in it once, scraped it off, almost dodged it 15 times. You know, I just, I voiced my concern to her. And all she had to say to me was, you're not going to be the first one to voice your concern to me, and you won't be the last. So I said, is there a manager, or you should tell your janitorial staff? And she said, well, you're not going to be the first, and you won't be the last to voice your concern. So apparently there's no trash can in here and nothing will ever get done about it according to her mm -hmm. but that's why i wanted to come talk to you about it okay and the third thing is you know we've been yeah that's number one <laughs> we go walk that's our tr green truck uh -huh. we try to take her over there we get the poop bags in there so we've been walking in and most of the poop is kind of over concentrated over there you know none really right here right there uh -huh. that's all i want to complain about but this is my real concern we are walking her over in the like sidewalk and i'm guessing the sidewalk is your property um no it's actually no. the city ashford okay mm -hmm. well where that sidewalk ends I mean, we were walking and we found some pretty disturbing hunting remains, deer skeletons. This was right at the end of your sidewalk. I mean, Several. look at all these vertebrae. Several, in perfect condition. Three full jaw bones. In perfect decaying de condition. And we went and talked to the Department of Wildlife about it. And they said, you know, it's hunting season. This is perfectly legal as long as it's somebody's property. Well, can I show you the sign that I found posted on one of your trees? Posted, hunting fishing. hunting, fishing, or trespassing for any purpose strictly forbidden. Violators will be prosecuted. Wow, and you said and right here. And this was right at the end of this, this sidewalk, you know, where it walks and ends in like uh -huh. shrubbery. There's, yeah, right there. We found all the End of the remains. pavement. And we see end of the pavement. All the time. Yeah, no, we saw them too. We saw live deers, white tails, uh -huh. no bucks. And that's what, I mean, if I could show you this, I'm not a hunter, but we come from Hampton Roads. A lot of people around there hunt. I mean, it's been sawed there. Sawed there, they took their antlers. They're poaching these deer. On you wow. behind your property, and I mean, I understand this is construction. I don't know whose property that is, it's somebody's, but you know, right. this is just, I mean, I don't know if anybody's brought this to your attention, but this is just, I mean, this is like a serious concern. That's and crazy. Yeah, it is. And I mean, it's like this is posted, no hunting. And like I said, we went to the Department of Wildlife, they said everything's okay as long as it's okay. Well, we were literally just walking as long as it's hunting there. season, but and, and that's she fine. Says, that's fine. Yeah, we pulled that sign off that says no hunting, no fishing, no nothing. So, I mean, this is good. And they're on every tree. Yeah. They're on pretty much um, every, every tree. That's why we pulled one down. That property. Just to show someone because they're are yeah, all so, over there. It has to be something. I would say has to be something silent that they're killing those. Yeah, no, I'm, of because course. Because yeah, they're not. They're not coming here, to. Right. Shoot they got some kind of suppressor. Yeah, and that's what I imagine is, you know, they're not just coming out and being blatant about it. But okay. just so you know, that this is going on on your property. You know, I'm not, you know, trying like, to be. Literally, where that pavement ends is where we found that skeleton. Two skeletons. Okay. This is just. Tracy is the front desk manager. Mm-hmm. So I'm surprised that was said, but um, and that's, yeah, I mean that's my she real was concern. Very was, like, disrespectful that was him. very rude to me. I mean, I came down and said, you know, if you even, I even offered like there's two trash cans at your front door. Why can't you take one of them right, and put them at this right entrance here. so that I could throw my poop bags away? Because I told her I had to walk down to the front door or to your courtyard to throw them away. Or every we've time had to keep them at our be... at our vehicle to bring yeah. them all well, back I'm at one time. In my room. I mean, that's yeah. Right. I'm not I don't think you guys want them in the room either. So I have to apologize about that. Um, I'm going to let my general manager. I'm going to go over okay. Tracy. That's my general manager. Okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't come in until Monday morning. No, that's you know that's fine. We'll be going tomorrow morning. But and then if you leave your name and number, and I'll have him call you directly. Okay. okay. Have us, him follow through us up. Yeah, okay. what's your last what's person last name? My name is Alexander and my last name is Waltz, just like the dance. Oh. <laughs> Not a dancing man, but. <laughs> and then your number? Uh, my number is 757. Ooh, my favorite area. Oh, really? <laughs> Four, the school down there. 477 uh -huh. 8080. Where'd you go to school at? Um, Norfolk State. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, we Close were, by? Granby, yeah, we went to Granby graduate. Okay. So. Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll let him know everything and 
you guys, I mean, we're, we're, no, we're, we're, gonna... we're keeping that. I mean, we're going to, yeah, we're going to deal with it. But, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just not it's right cool here. that it's, it's yeah. literally by the road. On vacation, and that's okay. what we find. You know, I expect to find that, like, you know, where in I'm desert, at home. Yeah, salted. like, yeah. I'm walking in the woods by my house, and I find Or maybe someone we know that went, like, yeah, hunting or, but not literally behind our hotel room. It's kind of unsettling to find it, like, just kind of scattering about, oh, skull. Like, that's, you know. And then if there are hunters and we're. Yeah. Well, let me just say something. There's a, there's a green Dodge Ram that's been parked in this little call. I don't know if you know, but there's like little call to turnaround. turn around. Uh -huh. They've been parked there since we've been there. So, and that's walking to, that's where we found the skeletons. They, but they were there yesterday, they were there today, and there was uh -huh. another crowd there yesterday. So I don't know if they're construction or whatever, you know, I'm not speculating that it's them, but just they've been there uh -huh. in the air where we found it. The last One year, bone so. was pretty close to the, the vehicle and that's why we got kind of interested and we found it under a tarp. So that's the yeah. only reason we were like, okay, hunting, whatever, but if it's under a tarp and yeah. it's sawed off like that, it's a little suspicious. Yeah. And the thing is, um, we have um, the police that circle around every hour after 11 p.m. Okay. So what I'll have is uh, maybe get him to go back there and see if he can see anything. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I just think they're really, like you said, just bringing in something that's quiet and getting them from the road. And, I mean, unfortunately, there's not much, I understand there's not much you guys can do about it, but just so long as it's brought to your attention, because, you know, I mean, you're you're constantly right here. So right. if somebody's constantly keeping an eye out for this kind of suspiciousness, you know, it's just not going to get brought to anybody's attention unless I tell you. And, I mean, You've been very helpful, so right, I, I really thank appreciate you guys that. For letting us know. Yeah. Yeah. And literally, just walking from here to where the road ends, we saw at least like ten to twelve white tails. Yeah. So those are all female. The I ones we saw bucks. that were yeah. the, the skulls we found were bucks. Wow. So those are males. Yeah. And it's literally between this and an interstate. So there's all females in there that are kind of being stuck there. Right. And people are knocking off the bucks because that's what's legal. Yeah. Right. Even though it's not it's not legal on that land, mm -hmm. it's legal everywhere else so okay yeah i'll definitely let the police know tonight when they're circling yeah yes. i mean if you keep an employee out here to pick up the dog poop and the skulls i mean yeah. that's that's cool because then i wouldn't want any other hotel just to stumble upon yeah stepping dog poop, poop and stumble across the yeah. rug right so. and i definitely will give this to my manager and i'll let him know okay, okay. thank you so much and yeah thank if you, you could just have him follow thank you all right all right have a good night you too